Boy, I had a hell of a day. First thing this morning, my girlfriend calls me, tells me she's pregnant. Yeah, then my meemaw calls me, tells me the toilet's backed up. I got to go over there and fix it. Then my wife calls me, tells me she's pregnant too. Yeah, now some of you out there may be the judgmental type saying to yourself, something's not right with this picture. You damn straight. I had a vasectomy almost two years ago. Now, I don't think we've been formally introduced. The name is Quentin J. Bushmaster. Some of you may have heard of me. I'm somewhat of a legend in my hometown of Taco, Texas. Now, if you're not familiar with Taco, it's about 26 miles northeast of Hobo Junction. It's a small town. A population after the last census was 76 people. Then that meth lab blew up last winter. We're down to 52. But it's a magical land where men are men and women are proud of it. (laughs) Now, it wasn't easy growing up in Taco. You see, my mama, she tried to raise me right. She did, but she wasn't a very nurturing woman. Yeah, you see, mama never told me I was special, but the school district did. (laughs) Now, daddy, he was my male role model on the nights he came home. Yeah, Daddy never played catch with me or took me camping or anything like that, but he did teach me how to siphon gasoline and how to steal copper wire without being electrocuted. You know, the basics. But Mama and Daddy, they did raise me in a good Christian home. Uh, Daddy was a Christian science and Mama was Pentecostal. So as a child, I was snake bit 26 times, never went to the hospital, and I turned out fine. Of course, I am partial to the warm weather and I sleep cold up, but other than that, I'm better than biscuits. <laughs> Boy, it's good to be here at Celebration tonight. First time at this place, I'm very impressed. I mean, hell, this is nicer than the lobby at the La Quinta. Now, they got everything. You get to bring your own booze. They got some snacks over there. But I read on the website that this is a drug-free facility. So I guess that means I don't have a gram of cocaine in my pocket. (laughs) Just between us. But it's good to be in the big city of Plano, Texas tonight. Quentin J. just loves the big city. I don't know what it is, the energy, the vibe, the... Possibility of finding a passed out woman in a parking lot. But there's two reasons why I come to the big city this evening. Reason number one was to realize my dream of being a comedian. A dream I've only shared with my cousin Haywood. Yeah, when I first told Haywood I wanted to be a comedian, he says to me, like them fellas on blue collar comedy? And I said, hell no. I want to be funny. Now, hey, 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 I don't mean no disrespect or anything, but if you've made millions of dollars doing the same material for 20 years, you might be Jeff Foxworthy. (laughs) Now, the second reason I come to the big city tonight was to find me some women. You you see, my wife doesn't mind me dating, but there are only 13 available women in all of Taco, and I own two of them. So, ladies... (laughs) If any of y'all like what you see up on here on stage tonight, please do not be shy. Maybe after the show we can go share a pork sandwich together. Now, hey, do not take that the wrong way. That is not a sexual reference. I'm just very hungry and I can only afford one sandwich. But ladies, I must warn you, before you get involved with a man like Quentin J, you got to realize that Quentin J is a very complex man. As a matter of fact, there's only three people in this whole universe who truly understand Quentin J, and that's Quentin J, God himself, and Mrs. Angela Lansbury. And that's it. But you know, ladies, maybe we're taking everything a little too fast. Maybe we should slow it down a bit, get to know one another a little better. For example, I'm 44 years young. I enjoy drinking and smoking weed, uh, gang bangs, and long walks in the park. Wow. Yeah, I've been married three times, all to the same woman for a total of 15 out of the last 20 years or so. 
And together my wife and I are raising 12 God-fearing children. Not quite sure how many of them kids are actually mine. You see, my wife's a woman of mystery. <laughs> well, well, now, hell, I take that back. I do know that those two mixed-race boys aren't mine. But hey, hey, I love them boys just the same. Well, actually, I love the one with the better jump shot a little more. Yeah. Hey, he just might be my ticket out of taco. But I want to take a moment to thank everyone for coming out tonight. You see, it's been a while since I've been up on stage due to the fact that I've been incarcerated for the last 10 months. But I want to thank everybody for all the kind letters and nude photos you sent me. Yep, especially the guys. <laughs> Hey, hey, now, Quentin J. don't swing that way, but it really touched me here, not here. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to lie to you. Quentin j has been in and out of prison all his adult life, but this time, it was all just a complete misunderstanding. I mean, hell, I'll tell you what I told the judge. She told me she was 19. But I didn't know the car was stolen, and I thought that stuff was flour. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't believe me either. You know, I don't know why it is. It's just quitting Jay has bad luck with the police, always has. For example, a few years back, I was speeding down the highway, drinking a cold beer, minding my own business. I had a shotgun displayed in the back window and a bumper sticker that read, Bong Hits for Jesus. And <laughs> guess who gets pulled over? That's right, profiling. So the policeman comes up to the window, starts asking me all these personal questions like, do you have a driver's license? Uh, do you have insurance? Is that an open container? So after a while, I guess he could tell I was getting tired of all these personal questions because at one point, he takes off his sunglasses. He looks me right in the eye and he says, sir, every day I risk my life protecting the good citizens of this county. What does that say to you? So I thought about it for a little bit, and I said, I don't know, maybe that the SAT was a real bitch. Yeah. That's how I got this scar right here. You know, but what it all comes down to is Quentin J just don't like people telling them what to do. That's why I can barely listen to the radio anymore. Not because Quentin J don't enjoy a good Beck and Kanye West duet. It's because they're always trying to give you helpful information on the radio, like uh, don't drink and drive, or don't mess with Texas, or don't steal your wife's pain meds after she's had a surgery. <laughs> Hell, I was listening to the radio the other day, they had a commercial for tequila. At the end of the commercial, they say, please drink tequila responsibly. <laughs> Let me run that by you one more time. Please drink tequila responsibly. <laughs> now, hey, hey, I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm just saying it's rare, all right? Not, not like a unicorn at the swingers club rare. More like a, uh, like a white boy driving a Chrysler 300 rare. I'm, hey, you see it sometimes. Now they got that new public service announcement. They say buzz driving is drunk driving. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you there's a difference between the two, and I'll give you an example. When I drove up here this evening, I was buzzed. When I drive home this evening, I'm going to be fucked up. Okay, that's just simple math. But I don't mean to make a lot of drinking and driving. It's a very serious thing. Hell, not long ago, my old lady went out with her girlfriends on the way home, gets pulled over by the popo. They get her out of the car. She said they made her do field sobriety tests. Then they told her they wanted her to blow. So I said, well, were you over the limit? She says, hell no. There's only two cops and one ride along. <laughs> yeah. You see, my old lady's not an intellectual like Quentin J. Hell, not long ago, she comes up to me and she says, Quentin J, I heard something Sarah Palin said the other day. Really made me think. Yeah, I done called the divorce lawyer because Quentin J cannot be with a woman more stupider than he is. I mean, who's going to fill out the welfare papers? You know, is it <laughs> FM 36 trailer 23, FM 23 trailer 36? Hell, I don't know. But my old lady and I, we haven't been getting along lately. 
trying to make things work out. You know, I'm trying to be more sensitive of her feelings, trying not to talk down to her. But she's always saying stupid shit. Hell, not long ago, she comes to me and she says, Quitting Jay, I think I'm a lesbian. I said, Hell, why do you think I've married you three times? <laughs> See, I've been dreaming of having a threesome ever since I was a boy when I watched my father do it. Oh. Yeah. But the family unrest didn't end there. A few days after that, my oldest boy comes up to me and says, Daddy, I think I'm a homosexual. I said, Billy Ray Cyrus Bushmaster, why do you think you're a homosexual? He says, because that Tom Brady's a good looking man. Kid's got a point. <laughs> Starting to wonder about myself. But there's just too much damn conflict at home. We got a huge mess going on right now. Just today in the mail, got a letter from the local school saying my second oldest boy was in ISS. Whole family's in complete shock. I mean, hell, I didn't even know he was Muslim. <laughs> rough times, people, rough times. But you know, as much as I love my family, I hate to be around them. I mean, there's one thing that my wife and I enjoy doing. Um, we've been part of a swingers group for about six years now. But we've never been able to host a party at our trailer because all we have in the living room is a small love seat in my recliner. So last week, I went on Craigslist, found me this real nice five-piece wrap-around couch. Can't fucking wait till Saturday. Because when I get that feeling, I want sectional seating. That's right. That's right, people. You know, but I like to do things on my own, away from the house. Uh, just last week, I went to a flea market where I thought I saw pop sensation Megan Trainer selling wind chimes. So I walked up to her and I told her that I was going to wreck that ass then take it to Mako. I quickly realized that this woman was not pop sensation Megan Trainer because this woman was all about that mace about that mace, about that mace. Now kids, my time's almost up. And I hate to leave y'all on a somber note. And I don't know if y'all heard about this yet or not, but after 10 years of exploring the outer reaches of space, the messenger space probe ran out of fuel and crashed into the planet Mercury. Now, I don't have to tell you people the kind of consequences that could come from an event such as this. I mean, that's all we need is another goddamn war in our hands. But at this point, we can only hope and pray to sweet Jesus that the Mercurians are a peaceful people. Hey, y'all, that's all the time I got. I got to get y'all be good. Woo!